Fire Marshal told the Library Commission last week the recent rains only made the Eudora Welty Library worse and it should be shut down. We don't know how much damage has been done and like I said, I really feel that we shouldn't have anyone in this building at all. The third floor is off limits to the public as plastic tarps and multiple buckets try to catch as much rainwater as it can. The Heinz Emergency Operations Center has air purifiers and dehumidifiers in each office in the basement that have to be dumped each day because of all the moisture. The roof's leaking and uh, we're always looking for a better place to to go to, trying to find a, a, a newer place for an EOC, but that's an uphill battle trying to find an there's just not an EOC out there that's waiting on us to move in. And we also want a building uh, which is safe for people to, to occupy. And so we're working actively to make that happen. The state fire marshal threatened to shut the building down permanently in 2017, but it was allowed to remain open if repairs were made. Now the mayor says they are working on a deal at the legislature to tear down the Eudora Welty Library. We're going to be observing what is a temporary solution for Eudora Welty. Uh, this is a part of our legislative package with the state uh, to demolish the building potentially uh, to create a better, um, a better uh, line of sight to the Civil Rights Museum and, and potentially benefit from a green space. We had hoped to speak to someone from the Library Commission, but no one will go on camera to talk about the situation here at the Welty Library. The mayor says they are shopping for other sites, including that one across the street for a possible new site for the Welty Library, but no timeline of when that could happen or what they'll do about the current situation here at this site. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.